Hey, 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 Sagittarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, July 20th to the 21st. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Saggies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Sagittarius, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, the information can be found in the description box below. I'm gonna grab one more card and then a channeled message from Spirit just for you. Oh, okay. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers. We have the Nine of Wands Sagittarius. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Moon card. Hmm, okay. All right, so let's get this message from Spirit and see what is up for you guys today. They're saying, okay, stake claim to what you know is yours. This does not have to do with love, okay? So, okay, that's gonna mean something different for all of you, they're saying. But they're wanting you to uh, stake claim to whatever is yours. Stand up for what is yours. interesting they said let yourself be shown what this is so if some of you are like what i don't know i don't know what this is um i'm feeling do some meditating okay and you'll be shown what it is just ask thank you okay well, you've got the lovers at the bottom of the deck, okay? Now, with the lovers card, there's always that third energy that can um, interfere with these guys coming together. Okay. There is a spirited conversation that you're going to have <clears throat> with somebody. And this is going to oh, connect you at the heart space, whatever this conversation is. And this is by voice. This is not a conversation by like text or email because there is a vibration in voice, right? So it's, it's within that vibration. So it will be like over the phone, over, you know, video. Okay. That's interesting, okay. Yeah, I feel like, Sagittarius, you have this new beginning in love and that's being hidden from you right now. But if you were to listen to your intuition, you would be able to uncover this. You need to drop your guard a little. You've got the nine of wands here, which is one of your cards it is uh sagittarius energy and this defensiveness is sort of see his wand right <laughs> well, that sounds weird see his wand okay it's covering his heart chakra so you you've got to let down some of these defensive this is the wounded warrior right you've also got two nines here interesting who else had nines was it cancer it's like something's ending and there's a cycle being wrapped up okay nine remember in numerology is the last number it goes from one to nine and then it starts all over again at one so you've got like the moon is nine across from that is a one it's the ace of wands tell me about the queen of wands 
excuse you, Ted. <laughs> Teddy just burped. Ooh, yeah, the Hierophants. Okay. It, it, this is that connection. This is Taurus energy. It could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. But this is a higher spiritual calling. This is a higher spiritual connection. This is deep shit. So stop blocking yourself off from this or making it harder than it should be. Tell me more about this Hierophant. This is um, intriguing me. Ace of Swords. Yeah truth and clarity when you talk to this person i'm telling you this voice thing it's um it's gonna it's it's it instantly like clears up these cobwebs in your head right so let's clarify this nine of wands it's the wounded warrior right tell me about the nine of wands why is sagittarius so yeah Okay, Queen of Swords. You're being very discerning when it comes to who you're allowing in your energy. And so you should. However, you're if when you're allowing somebody in your energy, you've got to drop those walls. What's your advice for Saggies dropping their walls? What's your advice for Sagittarius dropping their walls? Balance. This is your card. Temperance. All right. You have an angel looking over this connection. So this is, you, you've got to embrace change. This is also embracing change. You've got two fives here now. Okay. This is unexpected. I feel balancing of the body, mind, and spirit. Okay. Will help you. at least take down some of these wands, not feeling the need to have them up. Okay. Tell me about, tell me about the moon card. Huh? Uh, justice, Libra energy. It could be a Libra Sagittarius, but this is karmic justice in a good way. This is also twin flame energy. Why is justice here? This talks about listening to your intuition again, right? And this is connection with spirit. This is definitely, this may be a twin, okay? This person could be at a distance, I'm getting with the chariots. Again, we have balance. Balance is huge here, and that is the advice, right? To let down these walls. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. King of Swords. This could be a Libra. You've got Libra. Um, sorry, the itch of my nose. Uh, you've got Libra twice here now. The King of Swords is very um, discerning in his own right. But he's balanced. He gets shit done. He'll, he comes bearing truth. I feel that this person is very witty, intellectual. So you will like that, Sagittarius, that, that, that intellectual quality. I feel you guys will play that way with, within the mind. Tell me more about this King of Swords for Sagis. Could have Scorpio in their chart with the Death card. This person transformed. This person is not the person that they used to be. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is this person's intention with Sagittarius? <laughs> the devil energy. Wow. They're going to have a very strong connection with you. They're wanting to sexually connect. They're wanting to be victorious 
when it comes to you. They're wanting to be seen by you. You've got two sixes here. Pay attention to the spiritual rather than the material. They're going to take things slow, even though they're that sexually connected to you, okay? And they're optimistic. Be careful of the devil energy, though. Could be a Capricorn, or they could have Capricorn in their chart. Clarify this devil again. Okay. Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the World card. For some of you, this may be somebody that you knew in the past. Okay, because I feel like they're sort of anxious about this devil energy, about this sexual connection, right? Um, perhaps it, if, if it is somebody from the past, it could have been a toxic codependent relationship. If it's not somebody from the past and it's somebody new, they're afraid, they're, they have fear about it leading to that. So they're anxious about uh, sexually uniting with you, an expression of how they feel. So they're, they're going to take things slow. All right, so they're gonna be a little bit weary, okay? Old or new. So tell me about, oops, advice. Advice is the Seven of Swords. Okay, don't deceive yourself. Don't run away from this Sagittarius. It's, clarify the Seven of Swords in the advice position. Okay. If you're unsure, okay, because you're, you're going to have your guard up, okay? If you're unsure, then you need to peace out and meditate, okay? Don't run away from this. Give it a chance and look at it. You really need to go within your heart space and ask spirit. You have a connection to spirit. Advice. Yeah. Magician. Connect with your inner magician. You have everything you need to manifest. Okay. You've got to believe that it's possible. Yeah taking that leap of faith okay take that leap of faith all right Sagittarius um, if I didn't mention already I have another video out for a UFO sighting that I had today in broad daylight I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video that's why I'm saying it now so go check that out interesting shit in that video so if you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, Sagittarius, the information can be found in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, Saggies, and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.